Simple Soul Garden, and welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic. I am Skip Jennings, your inspirational teacher in the garden. Well, welcome to this cycle, this time. It's all about reconnecting. It's all about clearing out your mind. It's all about understanding your unification consciousness. So this first week, we're going to talk about the blocks and what stops us from living that life in the fullness of God. What stops us from realizing that we are one in God? We're going to talk about the blocks. So, and then next week we're going to get into our action plan. How to deepen that relationship with God to expand our life, to expand our consciousness. The third week we're going to talk about self-mastery. So let's hop into it. So like I said, this time is about clearing out those thoughts. It's about recognizing the balance and, and seeing that we are a human incarnation having a spiritual experience. So there's two sides of us. And I talked about this in, in my yoga classes. We always have that physical side that we must connect with the mental side. If we're doing yoga without the mind, the body is just all over the place. But connecting your mind with your body or connecting your spirit with your higher self. See, we live inside a higher self. So it's that connection, that unification. It is the balance. I talked about this last cycle. We talked about the yin yang situation, that perfect balance. The yang is being the doing, the yin is being the being. Or we're learning to be more of the being, but finding that perfect balance. I have some key words for you. So let's start off with our first key word. The first one we're going to talk about is thoughts. Thoughts create your, your, your existence. Thoughts create your life. The way you think is what's going to manifest in your life. So if your thoughts are that you are not one with your higher self, that you're separated from God, there is no power in that. So your life is powerless. But if you begin to think, and you begin to know and you change the way you see yourself in God, which is where the power really lies, then you have real, true power. The next thing I want to talk to you about is your words, your language. If you speak the words of separation from God, there too is your truth. If you speak those words that God is always out to get me, then there's your truth. But if you speak words, if your language is about, I am one in God and God loves me, therefore everything is good in my life, speaking those affirmations that we give at the end of the show, that's where your life really changes. And those affirmations, you speak those words and at one point, somewhere down the road, you begin to believe it. And then your life begins to shift. Your language and your words must be careful about that. Here's your next word. We're talking about your attitude. What is your attitude about your life? Are you powerless? Do you walk around feeling defeated as a victim? What is your attitude? Your attitude is the reflection of what you're thinking and what are you speaking? It's all connected. Your attitude is walking around feeling that you have everything within you. There is nothing missing. So you have all power and you have the capabilities of shifting your life. And check this out. Once you shift your life, everything else around you is going to shift. It is a trickle down effect. Your attitude, what energy are you carrying with you? Here we go. Prejudice. This is a big word here. And I'm just finishing out a diversity class in ministerial class, in ministerial school, excuse me. And this diversity class is talking about our own prejudice stands us and separates us from God. We must look at each and every person around us and the way they think there too is God. You might not agree or that might not be your path or that might not be your journey. But when we begin to see that each and every person's journey is just as important as the journey that we have chosen to be on, then we begin to embrace that unification consciousness. See, here's the thing. Every person, everything upon this planet is God. So when we're looking at someone else is going, they're wrong and I'm right, that is a separation consciousness. We need to bring it back into the unification consciousness, seeing someone else as having their own personal experience with God. Here's the last word we're going to talk about is worry. Worry is one of those things 
I believe is a choice. We have a choice to worry about where's our food coming from or where's the money coming from or the rent or, or, or if that person is going to love me or whatever. Where you, Worry doesn't get you anywhere. Here's the option. Release the worry and know that God has your back. Worry is a energy and knowing is an energy. There's a higher vibration in knowing and believing that God has your back than worrying about where is something coming from. And I'm saying this, and, and, and trust me, I know gas prices are going up. I know that people are having trouble making rent. Even though you might appear to have challenges of making your rent, you can absolutely know that God has your back or you can be in worry. You choose. It's up to you. So here is your seven day challenge. Your seven day challenge is to watch your language, is to speak, and we've talked about this, speak only affirmative words that's going to empower your consciousness, your mind, clearing up those thoughts. Speak words that will only empower your life. It's up to you. You have the power to do that. So that's a seven day challenge, and if you mess up, Start again. Because starting again is what we do every day. Take a new breath. We start again. We stop our language. We begin again. We have a new meal. We begin again. It's all about beginning again. So here we go. We go through affirmations. And I use a lot of affirmations in my own practice. Daily affirmations to remind me of who and what I am. Here's your affirmations for this week. So I invite you to take a deep breath in. Breathe in and exhale. And your affirmation for today. Just for today. Just for this moment. Just for this breath. I know that I am one in God. Therefore, my life is full of power. I'm going to say that again. Just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, I know that I am one in God. Therefore, my life is full of power. My friends, remember, you have the power to change your life. But I'm also here at the Soul Garden to help you out. So if you need some one-on-one, hey, just sit, send me a letter. Send me a note through email here. Catch me on Facebook or Twitter. I'm just here for you. And my, my journey is to help you guys to be the best that you can be. So then you can turn around and help someone else out there. So I love doing what I do. And one of the other things I have out there is a book. It's called Spirit Explosion. I invite you to check out here at Soul Guard. You can find out where you can get Spirit Explosion. So I want to help you guys as much as I can. So remember, until next time, I am Skip Jennings. Soul.